Hi everyone, welcome to another informative video on Vedkas world. Today we will cover information on a tiny island nation called Tuvalu. Tuvalu is an island country in the Polynesian subregion of Asenia, surrounded by the Pacific Ocean and situated about midway between Hawaii and Australia. In 1568, Spanish navigator Alvaro de Mendana was the first European to sail through the archipelago, sighting the island of Nui during his expedition in search of Terra Australis. Tuvalu was formerly known as the Ellis Islands when it was a part of British colony. On 1 October 1978, Tuvalu got its independence from Great Britain. Tuvalu is composed of reef islands and atolls which is spread across the ocean, and the highest point on Tuvalu is just 4.5 meters above sea level. Tuvalu is a volcanic archipelago, with the atolls like Nanumia, Nui, Nukufidau, Funafuti, and Nukulele, and the reef islands like Nanyamanga, Nyadau, Vitupu, and Neolakita. Eight of the nine islands of Tuvalu were inhabited, thus the name Tuvalu means eight standing together in Tuvaluan. The total land area of the islands of Tuvalu is only 26 square kilometers which makes it fourth smallest country in the world. The first inhabitants of Tuvalu were Polynesians who migration began about 3,000 years ago from the island of Taiwan during Austronesian people expansion in Pacific Ocean. Tuvalu has a population of only 11,464, with the adult literacy rate of 99%, and they speak Tuvaluan language, which is a Lycian group of Polynesian languages such as Hawaiian, Maori, Tahitian, Rapa Nui, Samoan and Tongan. English is also an official language, but is not spoken in daily use. Christianity is the largest religion in Tuvalu, which is followed by 97% of the population, and there are few followers of Islam and Baha'i faith on this tiny island nation. Funafuti is the capital city of Tuvalu. It has a population of 6,320 people which is 60% of Tuvalu's population, making it the country's most populated island city. And the only island city which has roads and that is of 8 kilometers long only. The traditional community system still survives to a large extent on Tuvalu. Traditional houses of Tuvalu are built with plants and trees from the native broadleaf forest. But now you can see many houses made with modern building materials too. Tuvaluan clothing was traditionally made from fala leaves also known as screw pine or pandanus. Local music in Tuvalu consists of a number of dances, including Faka Sisia, Fakanao and Fatio Li. The cuisine of Tuvalu is based on the staple of coconut and the many species of fish found in the ocean and lagoons of the atolls. The mainly traditional foods eaten in Tuvalu are pulaka, taro, bananas, breadfruit and coconut. Traditional sport of Tuvalu is called kilakiti, that has close resemblance to modern-day cricket. Another traditional sport that is quite popular in Tuvalu is Teano, which is played with two hard round balls made from pandanus leaves and has rules that is very similar to volleyball. But when it comes to modern day sports, the most popular sport in Tuvalu is undoubtedly football, which is also known as soccer. Tuvalu is a parliamentary democracy and commonwealth realm with Elizabeth II as a queen of Tuvalu. Since the Queen resides in the United Kingdom, she is represented in Tuvalu by a Governor-General. Tuvalu participates in the work of the Pacific Community SPC, and is a member of the Pacific Islands Forum, the Commonwealth of Nations and the United Nations. Tuvalu maintains close relations with countries like Fiji, New Zealand, Japan, South Korea, Taiwan, the United States of America, the United Kingdom and with the European Union. The Tuvaluan dollar is the currency of Tuvalu. But Tuvalu has only coins in their currency and does not have any banknotes, so they use Australian dollar banknotes instead. Tuvaluan dollar coins featuring Queen Elizabeth II on one side and local marine life like turtles, octopus, flying fish on the other side of coin. Also, there are no ATMs and credit cards aren't accepted anywhere, so it's cash only even at hotels and guesthouses. Coconut palms cover most of the islands, and copra, a dried coconut kernel, is practically the only export commodity of Tuvalu. Tuvalu has shown ingenuity by exploiting another source of income. It has sold its internet suffix .tv, to a Californian company for several million dollars a year in continuing revenue. Due to the country's remoteness, tourism is not significant in this nation. 
The main island of Funafuti is the focus of travelers, since the only airport in Tuvalu is the Funafuti International Airport, and Funafuti is the only island that has hotel facilities. Fiji Airways is the only international airline flying to the country, and only has twice a week service to Tuvalu. Then what Tuvaluan do, when there is no flight landing on their airport? They use airstrip as a playground and gathering point for enjoying their free time. Tuvalu has a hot and humid climate with few seasonal variations. The months of March to October are cool and pleasant, and country receives rainfall between November to February. So, the best time to visit Tuvalu is during the dry months between April and September. Every year Tuvalu has been overpowered with giant waves and gale force winds, causing widespread flooding in country. Due to climate change, global temperature increasing every year, and this is rising sea level. As Tuvalu is already low-level land to the sea, Tuvalu could be one of the first nations to experience the effects of sea levels raised, and can sustain itself for only next 100 years, and the people of Tuvalu would have to leave their homeland and be the first climate refugees of the world. So, that's it for this video. Please press on like if you love this video and do comment and let me know your thoughts. And do subscribe to my channel for more such videos, and press the notification bell icon to get on-time notification of my new videos. Till then, take care, bye.